<laughs> All right, guys. So we're jumping right back into Final Fantasy. Um, if you don't know what this is, um, yeah. If you don't know what this is, too bad. No, actually, <laughs> this is a series we're doing, or I'm doing, as a Let's Play. And it's part of a bigger thing, uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy, that a forum on Vote is doing. I will link that forum down below. I definitely suggest you check it out. And if you want to join in, next month we're doing Final Fantasy 2. And then it goes on and on. August, Final Fantasy 1. And then Final Fantasy 2, then 3. I mean, every month, you know. So definitely suggest checking that out. And it's just a, a good community to talk about Final Fantasy stuff. Anyways, what we're doing here is we were using the Mystic Key to actually unlock the door and get a silver armlet, which is insanely powerful. I realize, like, it's, it's kind of crazy. I didn't realize how much defense it would give me, but it pretty much tripled Warwick's defense. And now he is unstoppable. Not really, he's just really good. But yeah, now we're gonna escape and we're probably gonna go back to Cornelia because I believe there was an area there that needed the, uh, assistance of a mystic key wow that was dude my physical people are still like they're getting crazy powerful so they can just take out anything it's crazy it kind of shows you how much they're growing they grow up so fast I don't know. It's actually 4 in the morning right now, so I can't be held liable for anything I say. This will probably be the last video of the night, but we will finish up the series tomorrow, or we'll get close. Because we are finishing the series before August ends. Um, personal life stuff. Um, I have the next, or er, I have today and tomorrow off. I guess just today off, so that's why I'm going to focus on doing, getting it done today. And then the next couple days, I have very short work shifts, so we should be able to zoom through this series pretty quickly. I mean, it just depends on uh, what we encounter and if we get into a situation where it's like, oh, that enemy is murdering us over and over again. And we might have to adjust some stuff, but I, regardless of what's going to happen, I will finish the series. I'm just... Um, if I were to grind, I wouldn't want to do like 500 videos of watch me attack things 400 times. Isn't this fun, guys? I don't like making those kinds of videos, even though I did in the past with Blitzball. But that was a different channel, a different kind of situation. And I do like how I began that entire series of Blitzball with, by the way, don't watch these videos. Because you shouldn't. Uh, no, it was... Um, some backstory on that. I made Blitzball Channel. If you don't know what Blitzball is, it's a, it's a mini game in Final Fantasy X. But anyways, we're getting the perfect Blitzball team, and it was a very tedious task, and that's why I said don't watch it. And that's how I feel about grinding as well. If I were to do it in this game, I wouldn't want to record videos of me killing monsters 500 times. I mean, I know some people will watch that, but I don't think m me as a person could comment on that and actually be interesting. I don't even know my, if my commenting right now is interesting. So I know grinding would be even worse. We'd just be like, oh my god, why is this person doing this? This is horrible. Why are there war wolves? Haven't we already like eliminated the entire population of animals in the continent? Because we murdered everything. Oh my gosh. Alright, well we should be able to... Wait, that thing's dead. But yeah, I don't think I should check the uh, calendar. I'm not sure when October 31st is. I, I believe it's a Tuesday. Maybe. Let me do math in my head. I'm going to say it's a Tuesday, even though I didn't do math in my head. It's, it's, it's late, guys. I'm going to make up excuses. Actually, I totally forgot. We said we were gonna look at Astos's castle. Oh, that's gonna be a good place to go to. We've got quite a bit of places to examine right now, so we're gonna have to really think about what we're doing here. Hmm. 
You know, guys, there's going to be a change of plans. We're actually going to head from here uh, up north to the castle where we defeated the uh, Dark Elf dude, Astos. And we're going to examine there. We never actually looked around and we never did explore, so we don't know what's there. And hopefully Loft can just take this guy out. I think he cannot. Which means we'll take one hit on Eggball, but that's not too bad. And yeah, and now he's dead. Cool. Yeah, the Western Keep. That's what I was interested in uh, checking out because. When we went here last time, we just directly went to Astos, and then we left. That's all we did. We didn't do anything different. We just were like, all right, that's a guy. He's dead. We're good. And there might not be anything here, but something tells me there is. There is something here. <laughs> Wraith. This doesn't look good, actually. This looks really bad. Like, because those aren't normal. They don't look like something that's going to be all peaceful and stuff. Yeah, 35 is not peaceful. I mean, we can kill it, but it's not peaceful. Not on Loft, man. Loft is a G. Hence his name, Loft G. Actually worked out really, really well. Falchion. What the? F what is a Falchion? Sword with a wide blade. Is it? Is it something that I can equip here? What's the point of this Fal? I don't even know. Uh, from what I'm seeing though, we will be being in battles for whenever we go in front of something. Mummies feel like they'd be sus uh, susceptible to fire. Oh, sleep, that's not good. Come on, they're like, they're wrapped in bandages, won't they catch fire? I trust nothing. Alright, cool. So it puts our white mage to sleep, which isn't that bad. I mean, she's not an offensive character. Putting work to sleep over and over is super bad, though. It's just annoying in general, actually. I'm actually going to switch this up, and that's not what I want to do at all. Okay, dang. That's very bad. I just kind of want to end the battle very soon. It's obviously not going to end very soon if we keep on getting stuff like that happening. Very, very, very close to death, of course, as you can see. I should have done Cure, too. Last time, anyways. And if this kills him, which hopefully... Yes, we should be good. It all depends on if they can get that hit on um, him with Loft. We should be good. Yep, Loft from work took him out. That was way too close for comfort, though. That was intense. And only two, two health left. 
And dying in this one is it's so different because you can't use Phoenix Downs from what I'm seeing. You just gotta revive them out of town. Which is really frustrating because I would prefer to revive them in the field and just stock up on items. But it adds an extra challenge which is interesting. Steel gloves. That could be very useful. Does increase defense with a loss of evasion, but I mean, evasion is super important to us with him. And we walked on the wrong step because we will be fighting wraiths again, which is not fun because they are not nice. Obviously, the paralyzation effect is something that we don't like to deal with. Um, we just need to get. Um, I mean, there's so much more now. Like, I feel like there was much less than this last time. They weren't too hard last time though, so we should be able to beat them. It just depends on if they keep on attacking um, Iqbal the way they are and paralyzing us. Just brutality on them. That should be it. Nice. So we got quite a bit of gill from this, and we're just getting bank from these fights. It's just really frustrating when we have to um, use all our potions up. And obviously, it's our mages that we're really worried about. They're the ones most susceptible to dying. I mean, they're lower defense, everything like that. Let's see what we fight here. Oh, that's not that bad. Only four mummies. It's not every mummy in the game this time. Was it, wasn't it? it like six last time? It felt like six. Maybe I just don't know numbers. Maybe it was like four. Freaking Warwick. He's even better than Loth with his attacks. He just, just punches like crazy. See, we'll use Cure 2 on ourselves there. And the super pivotal thing is not getting hit. I mean, Iqbal's only got 18 health. If there's a hit, they're, I mean, they're dead. It's over. And we'll just attack with everyone. I mean, we should be able to end it this turn. Yeah, it's, it's over. Nice. And now we get to see what our final item is going to be. Power Staff. That is awesome. That sounds like something that will be super useful for our mage. Um, actually, I don't know. Do we really want that? Yeah, we'll, we'll use it. I don't know, though. That's... Okay, Power Staff. I was thinking more magical, but that looks like it's just more physical attack. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll actually bail now, and we're actually going to head back to Elfheim. I would say that was a really successful journey. I mean, we went through Marsh Cave uh, last video, got the uh, armlet, I believe, and now it's just all sorts of good stuff for the year. Now we definitely need to stock up on potions. <laughs> That's like the one thing I'm, I'm seeing. I'm like, we have no potions. I'm going to be like 10, but I'm going to be the guy with a million potions. That's just how I play the game because I'm that. Just, I don't know. I like exploring and to do that. You need health and it's just a different scenario with this game for sure. I feel like with these older Final Fantasies, more of an exploration aspect though. I mean... Compared to, there's a lot of Final Fantasies that are modern, -y. there's a lot of exploring, but I feel like Final Fantasy X is the one I compared to most, because that was my first Final Fantasy, or first 
first real Final Fantasy. I played Final Fantasy IX first, but then I owned Final Fantasy X first, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, what I mean with that was it was very linear until you got the airship, but then you were just revisiting places you already already been, except when you did the coordinates. And I feel like this um, Final Fantasy is a lot more exploration. You encounter things where it's like, oh, you're not going to be able to do this yet, but keep that in mind. Stuff like that. And I imagine with the Mystic Key, they probably had areas every place we went. Like, there's pro I believe there's probably some place where we beat Garland. Gonna be something. Um, I don't believe there's anything in the uh, Crystal Eye Lady's house because, I mean, there, there wasn't much to it. It was just like a corridor and a room. Plus, she hurt my feelings, so there's that too. And I totally did not realize how low well we were in health for our uh, mages. But that's fine. It doesn't really matter if the ogre can't hit us, right? Oh, he can hit too often. He's going to punch him in the face. And we're, clo we're close enough. I'm, I'm liking the damage they're doing, it's insane. Now we're in the danger zone with Iqbal, of course we got that 18 health. We're very close to Elfheim though, so even if he, she does fall, I mean it's not going to be that big of a deal. And against Cobras, they're no threat. I mean their major threat is poison, and... Their low health ensures that we're not going to get poisoned because we're going to kill them real quick. Anyways, we're going to have to rest at the inn here. And we're actually probably going to call that a video. I'm going to probably call that a night action if I get sleep. But we did get a pretty decent level. They're all level 11 now. That's important. And now, before we kind of log off of this, I want to check how much gill we got. Because we did attack a lot of enemies that gave a lot of gill. 13,000, that's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, as always, I would like to um, just stress, check out the forum below. It's super awesome, and it just, of course, it, mean, it means more people in the community, more people talk about things. And second of all, definitely uh, have a nice day, guys. Have a nice day, night, whatever. Just, um, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.